y'all this is my third this is my third wig review today we about to see if this one's gonna change the game because the first lace one i wasn't really feeling but this will be working with and you never told us. okay i already see the baby here long but it's there it's nice that it actually goes forward and it's not like mixed in the lace is light is this supposed to be transparent i don't know maybe it is transparent how about That's a beautiful hairline. go ahead and cut off this lace <laughs> I'm already feeling her baby girl oh my gosh she is so soft okay there's a tangle <laughs> no please don't be a tangly one <sighs> oh, let me see okay it's not so tangly y'all look at this just a cute picture Oh yeah, I already like Morgan. And look at look at this hairline. Like look at this. Just look. Freaking popping. Alright, I'ma fix it and be right back. Whoa! Okay, so before you guys come for me, I just wanted to mention that I know that the side of my lace is looking real, real light in this clip. Um, I do address it later on in the video, so just don't come for me, okay? Thank you. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time, welcome in general. My name is Reese, and today I'm going to be reviewing this unit that I'm wearing. Y'all, when I tell you this unit is so long, can you see my powder? Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to be reviewing this unit. This unit is by Cloud9, and it is a Swiss lace wig, and it's called Morgan. So this is in the color 1B, and it basically is like a synthetic wig that has like a bomb hairline that you don't have to worry about plucking. Basically, it's a pre-plucked hairline on a synthetic unit. Most synthetic units have a really, really dense and like unnatural looking hairline. And this one claims to basically look like human hair. Sis, and I'm not gonna argue because, <laughs> do you see this? Like, oh, synthetic hair where? I just wanna know. <laughs> and this unit comes with two combs on the side one comb in the back as well as adjustable straps and in order to put this unit on all that i did was tighten the adjustable straps and then i went ahead and cut the lace off and then on this side i cut off a little bit of baby hair it does come with baby hair already but i'm like girl did you put too much powder ignore it if i did but um yeah so it does come with baby hair already, but I did just go ahead and cut a little more. And I was debating, like, do I want to gel it? But I kind of like the, like, fluffy looking look. I maybe could have made this part a little thinner, but all in all, I think it looks great. So yeah, all I did literally was cut off the lace and then, um, oop, cute picture. And then, um, I did go ahead and take some powder and I went underneath the lace just to kind of make it match my skin more. I don't really know if it worked or not, but I did do that. And yeah, I just fluffed these baby hairs down right here, tucked this behind my ear, 
Now, this unit does come as a middle part. Actually, the part wasn't very defined. It was kind of a little bit to this side and it was kind of like wonky. Um, and I thought about keeping it in a middle part, but I just, I'm a side part girl. Like, I just love a good side part. So I did go ahead and put a part on the side as you can see. And I will come closer so you guys can see what that looks like. And don't judge me because although I have my hair braided down under this, in order to make my braid pattern versatile, um, just in case I want to wear a full wig or a half wig, I do have leave out in the front. And with the leave out, I put it in flat twist. So it is kind of lumpy in the front, but we're just going to ignore that, okay? Because I'm human and I'm not claiming to be perfect. But I do have leave out, so if you see a little lump in my part, it's just the twist, sis. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it has tangled some. But for the most part, like, girl, I'm so in love with this unit. Um, so yes, it does tangle a little bit. I mean, it's synthetic hair. That even happens with human hair. Um, as far as shedding, it does shed, but not much. It's just like kind of average for, you know, synthetic hair. I think I'd probably say I lost like 15 strands so far and I've been combing it. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt the camera down so you can see the length. I am 5'3 for those of you who are unaware. Just so you can kind of gauge how long it is. Sorry I have on a black shirt. But we'll go ahead. So yeah. So this is literally right above my belly button. And this goes basically to the top of my butt so it is fairly long but it's like so natural I love this wig period I also did go ahead and put some powder right here because I have on a um, brown wig cap and basically there's a line of demarcation that I tried to cover with powder hopefully it looks okay so yeah I just put some powder there and other than that that's all, y'all. I didn't do anything to this side. Let me show y'all. Look at this. Bomb. So this is like, you see? That's my twist. <laughs> and it's like right here too. You see? It's like pop popping up. But we just gonna ignore that, okay? Period period point in a blank so this is what it looks like up close i'm not trying to make it look perfect but look at the hairline though imagine like i would have did the ball cap method or something this is so perfectly like thin like i don't know not thin but it's just it's perfect but you know since i'm covering it i don't have to do that <laughs> And one more thing I wanted to mention about this unit, although I am in love with it, I love the texture, the way it looks, everything, the lace is itchy. It's just itchy. Like, I've been going like this on my hairline. Like, oh my gosh. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know the lace is itching my forehead. So let me know down below what you guys think of this unit. I want to say thank you so much to Sam's Beauty for being kind enough to send me this to review. If you have any other units that you want me to review, feel free to leave your suggestions down below. And yeah, as always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.